Hey guys, we're finally on the water on the Couch Power 100. We got the beast mirror here in the back. We are going at speed number six, which is like 2.2 miles an hour. This is not a fast boat. It was designed to take an outboard. So I don't think we're gonna get anything faster than three and a half with the Bisbee on this boat. We're gonna be testing that out. But this is the version, Bisbee version two, J2. And what I really like about it so far is that the connector is so easy to connect it. You just screw it in four screws and you're ready to go. Now you might think that's gonna take you longer. No, it's actually faster than before, at least for me. Cause you don't have to be like, uh, clicking things and put it in the right place and connecting it and opening stuff all you do is just have your pliers right your fishing pliers and a screwdriver which could be in your pliers and you're ready to go okay so let's go ahead and put this thing on the catch power in like two seconds let's see all right drop some mount frisbee goes in Ooh, look at this <laughs> and you could just bring it up and it sort of holds it nice you gotta make sure that this is tied up because you don't want this piece be falling off when you're going like 100 miles an hour make sure it's center yeah it looks uh, maybe a little more that center to me that's that now we gotta connect the battery we have the battery right here and the remote control so what i like to do is i just want to go fast you know like i just want to go in there get it on the water and go i don't want to be like running all over the place so i'm going to connect it now and it's easy to do all i have to do is open the motor port open it here and see align that Go in there oh wow this this was easy make sure it's connected properly this is watertight i like to put my battery right here see right there but you could put it somewhere else gotta give room for the bisbee to fall down now the remote and the kill switch i like to attach this to my pfd so let's put that on I'm using this inflatable a lot because you just look cooler, man. So this is what I like to do. And you do what you like to do, right? Put in the PFD on, touch it. I got my phone here with a little cord. I'm gonna attach here to my PFD. So if I fall off, the phone is with me. I can make phone call. Phone is waterproof. That's the best thing you can do. It goes in my pocket. Now, this is the remote control. And what I like to do with this is just go ahead like this and attach it to my live vest. Again, if I fall off, I could control the remote. Well, if you if the well if you fall off, the uh, kill switch will kill the motor, right? But what I'm trying to say is like you don't want to have it here. Maybe you're reeling, you don't want to go like this. You could just go like this. So I like to have it here on my PFD. Put the camera on. We're ready. We're ready. You don't want to run this thing like this because if you run it like this, you're going to kill it because this thing is water cool. So you could do a, like a quick test like I just did, but don't run it like that. All right, I think we're ready to go. Oh, we need, we need, we need a fish finder because the iPhone doesn't work. Oh no. Oh no, we're about to launch the Cash Power 100 with the Bisbee J2. Wow, it's been a while. Something I really like about Cash is, dude, this thing is so light. Just like that, you're on the water. I didn't use a cart, I just put it over there, throw it over the fence, I'm on, I'm on the water, just like that. Incredibly light boat and stable for what it is for sure too. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm gonna paddle out a little bit to get out of the grass. Something Bisbee doesn't like is grass. We don't have the grass attachment today, but we're gonna be doing tests with that too. Let's just bring the Bisbee down. Just have this little thing, brings it all the way down. And I'm gonna lose this screw a little bit and bring it all the way down. I sort of measure where I wanted it, it's right there, okay? Now, kill switch, it's very important. In case you fall over, 
kill switch is very important. So I'm just gonna put it right here. You can see here the signs. This is going forward. Hit that one and we're speed one. Speed two. Three, four, five, six, because it goes to 12. It's going really nice right here. I want to see quick, 2.3 miles an hour speed six. This little beast speed that weighs like nothing, right? It's like two pounds. With the battery and everything is like seven pounds. If you put Bisbee at a speed six, half the speed, you get like 2.4. On a normal tire, you could get like three miles an hour. You could go for like seven, eight hours, probably longer, depending on conditions. And that is incredibly amazing. That little thing, like I said, like you could power anything with a Bisbee. That's what I like so much about it. I put it on my inflatables. You've seen all the videos. So that's the selling point of Bisbee. It's really light. It's a complete system and you could power anything. And that's huge. Now, and also here, the battery is, is uh, charging the fish finder. So you also have that with a bit speed. Now, half the speed, I wanna go ahead and crank it up to 12. But before we do that, I'm gonna sort of like do this 360 right here. Can I do a 360? We'll, 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 we'll do a 360 later. Don't worry, it's coming. But just check this out. I wanna go in reverse here. I wanna go in reverse. Let me just stop it completely. And you see this little thing right here? That's reverse, all right? So. Speed one and reverse. Speed two. We heard the motor going, going reverse. We're going like 0 0.7 miles an hour, 0 0.8, 0 0.9. One mile an hour, speed two, 1.1. That speed three is so, I. I heard the motor go like, woo, 1.7, 1.8, We're moving, guys. We're moving now. It's, it has three reverse speeds, and it's moving. All right, so I'm gonna stop it right now. Boom! All right, let's do a donut right here, and then we're gonna go on a straight line and see how fast we take this crispy on the catch power 100 how fast we could take it okay dude this just feels so nice it, it feels nice because it's such a clean install it's so easy and bisby have like so many videos out there especially from me that show you how to install this thing on pretty much anything and they have it so dialed down that it's just pretty much plug and play. We are going 3.3 miles an hour going this way. Got the motor there with the transom mount and 3.4 right now. It, that's, that, I mean, it's, I don't know how to explain it. It's not super fast, but that's not the point. Bisbee doesn't want to be fast. Bisbee want to be useful. Bisbee want to be a little motor that you can put on anything. Doesn't matter like Right now you have a catch power, tomorrow you get a Shearwater 125, you already have a beast, but you could adapt it to it. It's not like, you, for example, if you want to put it on your Hobie, on the Mirage Drive, you have the adapter, so you have all that stuff. Bisbee doesn't want to be the fastest, the cheapest, or the strongest motor there is. Bisbee want to be the most useful motor there is, and I think they deliver on that, because I, seriously, I've been testing the new port vessel, love that motor for sure like if i'm gonna go high power stuff definitely gonna put that motor over the bisbee but i have paddle boards if i want to motorize my paddle board with that motor i won't be able to it i won't be able to use the torquito either right so just having this thing here that this motor that i could pretty much motorize anything it's huge for me and it should be for you too because you change kayaks right you may be on a hobby outback this year next year you may have a pro angler or whatever boat you know you could keep using the bisbee with any boat pretty much so that's huge i want to be safe but if you want to you know what it's, this water is not safe so forget forget that i was gonna say if you want to see me like fall off on the water let me know like not on purpose but what the what the heck just happened here like like what the heck just happened guys hmm <laughs> This is incredible. 360T for the win, guys. Look at this. Oh. 
How can you see when you're going forward? I don't know. But like this is cool right here. I just I, I just wanted to do this for fun. I'm going I, like I'm facing that way. Oh, you know what this is good for? Let's say you're in an open area. There's nothing behind you, and you want to fish behind instead of like like you know what? Let's do that right now. You know what? If you get one of the jack gadget mirrors, you could put a mirror there and see behind you, and like do this, dude. Dude, like, like seriously, this is epic stuff. And guess what, guys? That's not all. That's not all. Let me show you what else you can do with this boat. I'm just having fun here. I'm just having fun right here. Ah, <laughs> no way. No way. No way. Look at this. 3.4. 3.5. So we did hit 3.5 miles an hour. Maybe if I go even further to the front. 3.6 so it does play a role if you like if you're all the way on the back you go a little slower if you go in the middle of the boat kind of like the boat is like this instead of like pushing all that way it's more like like this you'll go faster so that's cool boom katakalaka this is speed 12 seriously it feels faster than what it is it feels faster for real there's some cool stuff here guys I don't know what it is like the Johnny yesterday was going at least 4.1 miles an hour and it felt slower than this I don't know what it is about this John this cash power that it just makes it fun like it doesn't matter if it doesn't go super fast it's hard to explain but anyways guys right here today we got the J2 from Bisbee this is version 2 like I was saying earlier and guess what guys you could buy one of these motors through my affiliate links and it's, you're gonna support this channel tremendously we need money to make videos that's the truth uh, there's a bunch of trips that I taken that I want to do they cost money and if you guys do need a Bisbee because you want to power any kayak you have please use my link that way we get credit for that and we could use that money to do more videos better videos even travel to i don't know wisconsin probably amp outdoors we gotta go see you and other places like i may go to north carolina i mean is it south carolina i don't know one of those soon we went to tennessee we went to orlando recently all that costs money guys and if it wasn't for your support and you know using the links that we have here we won't be able to do this because some youtube sometimes is youtube is crazy like YouTube might pay you a little bit of money for AdSense one day, a lot of money the next day, and then just kill it the next day. Like, seriously, YouTube is, is some weird stuff. But do you see what I just did here with me just driving around here like, like cuckoo crazy? This is fun.